In this video, I'm gonna talk about five different things that make me passive income that you can learn as well. And for each of these, I'm gonna talk about how much money it takes to get started. And for most of them, it takes hardly any or none. And I'm gonna talk about how passive the income is after you get it going. Now for me in my business, these five things generate for me around $39,000 per week with various degrees of passiveness, depending on which one. This is the video I wish I would have seen when I started my own financial independence journey many years ago. So let's get started. Now this first one, I actually heard about many years ago and I heard about guys making tens of thousands of dollars completely on autopilot with it and they were outsourcing the entire thing. So I actually followed a free online course that I'm gonna show you in just just a second and built up a website generating around twenty thousand dollars per month and this site has nothing to do with making money online or anything like that it's just a regular website that you might even have visited now I used to focus on this way more but now it takes up a lot smaller percentage of my efforts because I'm focusing a lot actually on this YouTube channel and some of the other things in this list but if you like to just sit in the background never sell anything or have to talk to a lot of people and just tinker away at a website this is a great business model for you what am I talking about I'm talking about organic website lead generation. So here's how you do it. The basic idea is you're building a website all centered around one topic. Now, how do you pick the topic? I find it's useful to actually use this classic business diagram that you see right here. Now you see here on the left, what you love and what you're good at. These two things are really good to identify. All you need to do is sit down with a pen and a pad of paper and just start writing down things that you love and things that you're good at. Think about something you have some expertise in or a topic you're really interested in or you have a lot of experience with. Even if you're not a total expert in it, as long as it's not something that requires like an eight year medical degree or something for you to really know about, it can be a great topic for you to pick. Now this circle right here, what pays well requires a little research to figure out because what you want to do is make sure that you're picking a topic where a lot of people are buying things related to that topic. And the nice thing is if it's already a topic that you love and it's already a topic that you're good at, you probably already know the kinds of things that people are buying related to that topic. And you can see right here, as long as all three circles intersect, then it can be a winning topic for you. But you can see right here, if only a couple of the circles intersect, then you end up either ending up happy but poor or creating something that's gonna make you very rich, but you're gonna be very bored in the end. And that might not matter to you now, but believe me, once your website starts generating money for you, I know guys that, that really resent the businesses that they have built because they built it around a topic that they really don't like. Now, one thing that I would add that's not in these circles is you want to make sure that it's a topic that people are actually searching for on Google. And a great way to make sure that people are actually searching for it is to go straight to Google themselves. They have a tool called Google Trends, which you can go to by going to trends.google.com. And then what you wanna do is type in the topics that you wrote down on your paper and see which ones get the most traffic. And you can see right here, just by typing in a few topics, these are just topics I typed in off the top of my head, that the differences in the traffic can be massive between different topics. You can see, Chess by far has a massive, massive search. You can see that yellow line is way above everything else. Below that is dog training and then way down at the bottom is vegetarianism. But what this Google Trends lets you do is compare different topics and identify which ones have the most people searching for them on Google. And you're gonna do really well if you pick a topic that gets a lot more searches than everything else. Now, the next thing that we did was we built a website with tons of pages all around that same topic. And each page was very simple. It was just an article about a subtopic of that page. And you say, well, what do you mean? The best way that I know to come up with a lot of different subtopics around a single topic is to use AI to do it. So if I go over to ChatGPT and I just type in dog training topics, it's gonna outline for you tons of subtopics right in front of your eyes. And each one of these could be an article or even several articles on your website. Each one of these could be an individual page all around the topic. So you can see here all the different kinds of subtopics that have to do with dog training. And you can even break it down even farther if you ask ChatGPT, let's say I take this number one, what are 10 
sub topics related to basic obedience training. And then you can see here, it's gonna break it down even farther. And these could, each one of these could be an individual page with an article on it dedicated to that topic. And so in the end, you have a massive content site with tons of articles, all surrounding one major overarching topic with tons of subtopics all related to that. Now, you don't wanna get ChatGPT to actually write the articles for you. I know a lot of people are gonna think that. Google will catch on to that and they will remove your traffic eventually. So don't use ChatGPT to actually write the articles. You can have ChatGPT help you come up with article outlines, come up with article topics. And it's really a game of getting a lot of content on your site so Google starts to see it as an authority. Then you get some links pointing to it and you do some other technical things that I'm gonna show you once I show you the free course that I talked about at the beginning. And again, it's not even my course, it's someone else's free course that we use to build our own website. And pretty soon the traffic starts to roll in. Now the next step that you do is once you have all that traffic coming in to your website, then you have to convert that traffic into sales. Then I set up an agreement with a company and said, hey, could I send you phone calls and sales? And they said, yeah, every time someone calls through your number and calls our company and it results in a sale, we'll pay you $650. So everything gets tracked. And if you can imagine, if I only get one sale per day off of that website, I'm still making around $20,000 per month from the website. Now, if this looks good to you, there's free online course that you can take if you go right here to this website called builderssociety.com and then right here you click on this digital strategy crash course this is literally the free online course that i follow to build my website and if you follow it and you really put in the work you can do it too now this specific business model is an extremely long-term strategy and there's a huge upfront investment it costs a lot of money to build the website you have to buy backlinks and buy other things for the site to make it work but once you get it going, it is extremely passive. You hardly have to do anything to keep that income coming in long term. But because of the huge upfront investment, even though I did that personally because I have the money to invest, I wouldn't recommend it to someone who's a beginner online. But if you have some money to invest, you really want to dive in, you can go right to Builder Society to their free course and learn exactly how to do this whole thing start to finish now this next thing i am actually going to recommend to you it has a very small upfront investment and a lot of times you can even get it going for free there's not much ongoing work and it just generates income for you and this is something i've been doing since 2008 and it pays very well i've done it in many different markets and niches including how to play chess how to get government grants vegetarianism and all kinds of different market areas and the first step just like creating that big website that I talked to you about, this is a completely different business model, but you're gonna start with the same exact step. You wanna use the same diagram that I showed you earlier, but this time you're gonna use it to create a digital product to sell. And I'm specifically talking about a digital information product. Now let me tell you what I mean by that. Way back at the beginning, I used to sell ebooks so they were just like regular books but they were downloadable books so someone would pay me $19 or $20 and I would deliver them a downloadable book for them to read nowadays downloadable books are not so impressive most people want to see things in video format but it's very easy to do in fact you can use free software like loom or mono snap and what they'll do is actually record a video of your screen and also record your voice talking and you can go to docs.google.com click on this menu in the upper left click on slides and you can create just a very simple presentation just like I'm showing here where as you talk you click through each slide and you go through your content about your topic and remember we started with that circle diagram so this is gonna be something that you know a lot about and that you like talking about and you're gonna find it very easy to create a simple presentation like that and that software I showed you earlier whether it's loom or mono snap or some other will actually record your screen while you're talking and clicking through the presentation. I generated thousands and thousands of dollars in online video courses with simple presentations like I'm showing right here. And I never even showed my face. Now, if you wanna make it exciting, you can go to a site like Pexels and get free stock video and stock photos to intersperse while you're talking. But again, I've made a lot of money without doing anything exciting in my presentations at all, except for just talking and showing my presentation. This digital information product that you're gonna sell, I've sold them many ways. I've sold them through paid advertising. I've sold them on forums. There's a lot of different ways you can sell them. But one of the easiest ways, I'm 
actually doing right now through this YouTube video and this YouTube channel that you are on right now. If you look in the description directly below this video, you'll see that I have a little link. And if you click on that link in the description, you'll see exactly how I'm selling my own digital product. And I recommend that you do the exact same thing, whether you're selling it through a paid ad or through a website or a forum or a YouTube video, make sure you're giving away something really, really valuable for free if they click on your link. So if you click on my link, it'll take you to a page that looks something like what I'm showing on my screen right here. And if you enter your name and email there, I'll email you my free class. And it's a great class. We spent a lot of time on it and it works really well, even if you don't buy any of my paid stuff. So you want to make sure that whatever free thing that you're giving away really works well. Maybe your information product is t a 10 video course. Well, you might want to give away the first one for free. Then what I do is at the end of the free class, I talk about my paid options. And I have sold digital products with this exact formula over and over and over since 2008. It works amazingly. And again, I would encourage you to click on that link, enter your name and email, get that email and see exactly how I do it. You can imitate me and use my exact pattern. You could even do the same thing through YouTube like I'm doing right here. Let's say your topic is dog training, set up a YouTube channel where you're talking about dog training tips. And then in the description of every YouTube video, you have a little link where you sell your paid information product if they want to go deeper into dog training. And you can actually sell it through a platform like Udemy that I'm showing right here or school. There's a lot of different ones that are like that. I don't get paid anything to promote these. These are just very easy ways that you could sell a digital product. They take care of the payments. They take care of delivering the videos to people. They take care of people's logins and, and all that type of stuff. It's a very easy way to get started. Okay, let's go to my next passive income stream. Now this one also has a very, very small investment. And I would say of all the passive income streams that I've created, this one is the most passive. It requires the least amount of ongoing work and it has literally generated me money for years. Sometimes I even forget about the business completely until I see the payment hit my bank account. And I've literally generated millions of dollars with this one over the last eight years or so. And many, many months I have zero effort put into it at all. This is probably the one that I recommend more than anything else in this list. Just like the other two ideas that I told you about, you're gonna need to pick a niche or a topic. But for this one, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're not gonna use that three circle diagram like I showed you earlier. For this one, you have to pick a topic centered around a service business, like an electrician or a roofer or a plumber or something like that. Now for this specific one, I actually recommend that you use some free software that I personally built to help you pick your topic. And if you wanna get that free software, all you need to do is click on the link in the description of this video. It'll take you to a page that looks something like this and then I will email you a free training class. And along with that free training class will be free software that's gonna help you to pick your topic. And you can see right here, the page where the software is delivered, there's the training video, and there's the link right there to access the software. Now, you're probably saying, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a roofer, I'm not a plumber, I can't even think of a topic that would work because I don't have any skills like that. Well. Good news for you, I'm not a plumber or an electrician or anything like that either, but yeah, I make money off niches like that every single month. So stick with me, this is all gonna make sense. You can make money off these niches without ever picking up a hammer or a wrench or a single tool. Now the next thing that you wanna do is go to voice.google.com and set up a free Google Voice phone number. Just pick any phone number in your area, it's not gonna cost you anything to set it up. Number three, you're gonna go to a site called durable.com and set up a free website. This is an AI tool that's gonna create an entire website for you for free using AI. You can click right here, generate your website. What type of business are you building? So again, this is where you're gonna enter in the topic that you picked at the beginning of this section, whether it's electrician or roofer. I'm gonna pick electrician. I'm gonna click next. Where is your business located? You can just put your own town and you click next. What is the name of your business? Now is where you need to give your business a name. And you can just make up any name that is related to the service area business that you picked. You just wanna make sure that that main keyword is in the business name. So for example, for me, if I say I'm doing electrician, I'm just making up the name, electrician serves are us. And when you click generate website, this AI builder is gonna generate the entire website. You don't have to do 
any work to set it up, it's amazing. And look at that, website is already done. It's got text in here. We electrify everything from homes to offices here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, about us. We're a team of friendly folks who love keeping your lights on and wires safe, blah, blah, blah. It does everything for you. It has different service pages that it created for you for the different types of services that electricians offer. It puts photos on there for you. All done by AI, I love it. Now, the next thing that you wanna go do is you wanna go to this website right here, google.com forward slash business. Click on sign in, and it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. You're gonna type in your business name, electricians are us, click create a business with this name, click continue. And I'm not gonna lead you through the entire process here because it's really simple to do, but it's gonna ask you for your website. That's where you're gonna put that free AI website that you made. It's gonna ask you for your phone number. That's where you put your Google voice number that you made. But remember, you don't have to be an electrician or a roofer to make money off of this, because what's gonna happen is, after you finish filling out that form, you're gonna become one of these little pins on Google Maps. So whenever anyone goes to Google Maps, let's say for the example in this video and they type in the word electrician, I'm gonna show up as one of these red pins that they can click on and they can call the number for electrician service. Now once the calls start coming in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spend about 20 minutes finding a small business to send those calls to. So they're gonna complete the service. All you're doing is acting as a middleman pulling calls off of Google and sending them to a small business that desperately wants those calls. And after they agree and they say, yes, please send the calls to me, you're gonna click right up here on this little gear and you're gonna go back to your Google Voice account. You're gonna scroll down to where it says call forwarding and you're gonna enter the phone number of that business right here. And that way, whenever anyone goes to Google Maps, they click on your pin, they call the number, your Google Voice free number, that phone call is gonna be directed straight to the small business that has agreed to accept those calls. Everything will be tracked straight through this Google Voice account. You'll know exactly how many calls came in and you can charge between 25, even up to $50 per phone call to these small businesses and they will gladly pay it. But let's say you just charge them $25 per call, which I would say is pretty low. If you only sent them one phone call per day and you multiply that by 30 days in a month, that's $750 per month and all you're doing is shuttling phone calls from Google Maps across to the small business owner and they're paying you for it. At that point, you can just stop working, sit back and enjoy that $750 per month residual income. I've been doing this for many years and I rarely have to touch this part of my business. It just keeps creating income. Or you can go back to step one that I showed you and repeat the process again to get another $750 a month residual income. I know I went through this really fast and I probably covered some things that you have questions about. So if you want to learn more about it, just click on the link in the description of this video. I have a free class that goes into a lot more depth than I ever could in this little YouTube video. Okay, now this next passive income stream that I have also requires a very small upfront investment. A lot of times you can do it actually for free, but it is less passive than the other business models that I showed you here. But the reason why I bring it up is because I have made millions of dollars over the years on this one as well. And I know guys where this is their entire business is just doing this specific thing that I'm about to show you. But since it's less passive than the other ones, I currently only use it really when I need extra cash. But once you learn how to do it, you can pretty much create money on demand by repeating the process that I'm about to teach you. This is called digital product launches. And in this specific business, model, what you do is you take the digital product that you created earlier and you create a bunch of hype around it online and you do a massive public launch of the product and create a huge payday for yourself all within a week or so's time. Now I can give you an overview of how to do it right here, but really the best way to do it is just to go and buy Jeff Walker's product launch formula. It's going to teach you all the ins and outs of it. And again, I don't get paid anything to tell you about Jeff Walker. He's just the guy that has systematized this process and I follow his process myself as well. And I only do a fraction of what Jeff Walker teaches and it still generates cash on demand for me whenever I need it. So here's the basics of how to do it. 
You remember earlier where I showed you how you need to put a little link in the description of YouTube videos and start collecting email addresses? And I showed you how I'm doing that myself right here in this video. Well, over time, you start to build up quite a large email list of people that have all given you their email address and said, send me emails about your product. So what you do then is you send them a very specific series of messages and you will literally generate cash on demand for yourself. So here's the series of messages. I'm gonna go through them really fast, but these series of messages have generated for me multiple thousands of dollars whenever I need it. The first email that you send is on day one. I like to send it on a Thursday. And all you do in this email is you give away something free. And it has to be related to the digital product that you're selling them. And your subject line for this email is basically open this email to get the free XYZ, whatever it is. The other thing you wanna do in this email is inform them that in about a week, you're going to be launching a new product and give them a few benefits of the product and tell them, watch your email inbox next week. That's it. Then you're going to skip two days on day four, which is going to be a Monday. You're going to do your launch announcement. And in the email that you send on day four, you're basically going to tell them, Hey, did you get the free thing that I sent you last week? If not hit reply and I'll send it right to you. That's really important. Second, you're gonna inform them of your launch date, which is gonna be on Thursday. So you tell them in four days, I'm gonna be launching a new product, watch your email inbox. And then also in this email, you wanna tell them exactly what the subject line is gonna be when you send them the email on Thursday. On day five, you're gonna send them another freebie. So this is gonna be on a Tuesday, day five, you're gonna send them another free thing. You're trying to really build up goodwill and get them really opening your emails. Offer another valuable item, maybe it's the first chapter of the ebook you're gonna sell them later, or it's the first video of the video product. And I like to deliver that second free thing through like a Facebook post or something like that. So we get a lot of people commenting and it starts to create a lot of buzz around the product. Now, on day six, which is gonna be the Wednesday, you're gonna send them another email and remind them, hey, tomorrow is the launch day of this new product. Make sure you tell them, hey, we sent out a ton of emails. We've got a lot of people replying. People are freaking out about this and they can't wait for it. So make sure you watch your inbox tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. because that is gonna be your first chance to buy this product. And I also usually say that there's a limited time offer, whether it's a discount or a bonus or something like that that you can only get if you order it during the launch period. Then on Thursday, which is day seven, you're gonna send out a simple email that says, hey, you can buy it now, hurry up while supplies last before this launch period ends if you wanna get it and then a link to buy it. So then on day eight, you're gonna send out another email. That's gonna be the Friday. You're gonna talk about how many people bought it yesterday. You're gonna talk about how many people you emailed. You're gonna talk about how everybody's so excited about it. You're gonna remind them that the offer is still available and remind them of the deadline. A lot of times I'll say it's only available until Sunday or something like that. Then on Saturday, which is day nine, you send them another email and the subject line is, last full day before this offer ends because you're going to end the offer on Sunday. So Saturday is the last complete day that they can get it. And it's just a simple email with a link to buy and a reminder of the deadline. Then on Sunday, I send them another email, the final email, and I tell them the offer is going to close today at the end of the day. So get it now before it's too late. The simple process of creating a special digital launch can create tons of money for you on demand. Even when I first got started and I had a very small email list of just a couple thousand people. I remember one time my hot water heater died and we didn't have a lot of money at the time. This was way back around like 2010 or something when I was just getting started. And I literally just did a product launch to make enough money to replace our hot water heater. It can literally be like that whenever you need it. Okay, now the last passive income idea that generates income for me right now that you can do too is coaching. This also has a very small investment because you're using the knowledge that's already in your head. There's very little money up front that you have to spend. And the reason why I mentioned it last is because it's probably the least passive of all the income streams that I've mentioned in this video. Because coaching requires your own time and energy to help people instead of just generating money whether you're working or not. Now you can make it passive by training and hiring other coaches to help you do the work, which is like what I've done in my own Google Maps coaching program. You click on the link in the description, you can find out all about it. But we have me doing coaching, then I also have other people that have made money with Google Maps that also work as coaches 
as well in my program. But if you combine it with one of the other income models that I showed in this video, it's a great way to generate extra money. And what you're doing is offering high priced personal access with you, the product creator. And that's for people that have extra money to spend and really want that one-on-one -on -one help. And I actually offer that as well. If you click on the link in the description of this video, you can find out all about it. But this I would say for you, just getting started online is probably more of just an add-on that you wanna do just for people who really wanna dig deep and spend a lot of money with you. Now those aren't all my businesses that I have, but those are five passive income streams that I personally use that I think you can learn to do too. Just pick one and run with it. And again, like I said earlier in this video, if you want to learn more about specifically the Google Maps income model that I talked about, I have that free class in the link in the description. My own kids have businesses using this Google Maps model, which is why I recommend it the highest because I know it's so simple that kids and grandmas and non-tech people and newbies can do it. And you can learn all the details just by clicking on the link in the description and getting my free class. I'm also going to bring up for you right now a video about my daughter who set up a business using Google Maps when she was only 12 or 13 years old. It's going to pop up on your screen and you can click to watch that right now as well. Talk to you soon.